Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Zucchini and other summer squashes are abundant in the late summer and early fall season where we are right now. Although they can be grown and harvested as early as the late spring and onwards, you know, depending of course on the region and climate, uh, they tend to be at their best in the early fall, which is why we see it in so many traditional fall recipes around the world. Zucchini, also known as the courgette, is believed to be native to the Americas, uh, specifically the region that is now part of modern day Mexico and Central America. It's a type of summer squash and is thought to be a descendant of older varieties of squash that were cultivated by indigenous peoples in these regions. Zucchini eventually was introduced to Europe and other parts of the world after what is referred to as the Columbian Exchange, which was a period of mass ex exchange of plants, animals, and culture uh, between the old and the new world following the late 15th century. And this was one of the earliest ones, the zucchini, that made it into Europe on the wide scale, actually. As early as the 1700s, the Europeans, especially around the Mediterranean, stopped looking at the zucchini plant as decoration and delicacy like they did many other imported plants from South America, and they started making it a big part of their traditional cooking. Over time, it was brought and cultivated in other places in the world that the Europeans settled. Different varieties of zucchini have been developed, including the yellow and even striped varieties, and now it's used in a wide range of culinary applications all around the world, from sautéing and grilling to baking and stuffing. So despite its relatively recent introduction to Europe, zucchini has become a beloved and versatile vegetable in many cuisines in Europe and around the world. It's used in a wide variety of dishes and has found place in both traditional and contemporary cooking. As for me, I don't like it very much. I can't think of myself ever eating it. It's definitely not native to where my ancestors are from, but let me all know where are you guys from? Do you like it in any specific recipes? Let us know in the comments below.